What's going on guys? Welcome back to PFI Speed. Jamie and I are here and we've got a tune coming in. And it sounds like we got some TPS problems, but the car's got, it's got a ton of good stuff. So this thing could be pretty awesome. He's looking for around 500 horsepower. And uh, he's kind of new to it all. He just bought the car. And uh, we're gonna work through it and see what all it needs. And I'm kind of stoked to do so. It's, uh, I think it'll be the second car I tuned since I've been back off race week. And I'm um, jonesing to get back into it and kind of play around some more. Um, we got some stuff going on with show enough in the back. Sean's working on that, so we got some videos coming up on that. The Rehab S2000 is headed back to Cotter Pins, where they're going to start getting the motor and tranny in it. I'm super stoked about that. And uh, we're just going to get jamming. I kind of miss y'all. I kind of missed tuning with you all. Let me say that better. So, all right. Check it all out here. And it has a TPS problem or something. That's what they were thinking. Okay. We'll dive in, make sure the injectors are plugged in the right spots. Brown, red, blue, yellow. And uh, keep scanning it all. Shouldn't be too bad to make some power with. That's cool. <laughs> Turbos keep America fast. Widen the fenders out. A unique little deal. Nice little roll cage. Keep everyone safe. Battery box. All right. Kind of got a pretty cool look to it all. All right. Let's focus here. All right, so we're looking to plug into this ECU and these tabs were bent. So we're gonna have to pull this ECU out and uh, get those straightened out and then uh, go from there. So Hold Jamie, stuff. grab some tools and, and get that pulled out. And it looks like they're gonna put the quarantine shirts back on the website for a bit, so. I think we're gonna do one more run of them. Um, so if you guys want something, jump online and grab that. Like I said, Sean's back here working on showing up. Come up with some ideas, bro. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out exactly how I want to tie the lid into the box. Oh, okay. So. I see. Very cool. Sounds like a good thing to do. Yeah, yeah. I just got the tie down bolts complete. They're cooling down on the workbench. Oh, very cool trying to figure out securing the lid. Nice, perfect. Sounds awesome. What are you finding, bro? I think I've got it about there. All right, so it's looking pretty good. Yep. Plug it in, so it's gonna work. Nothing. Why go up and down, maybe? Nothing. Power and pull the ECU apart. Okay, so this car does have an old V1 board, which is the original. So it's probably just been plugged into and unplugged out of a billion times. At least. Yeah, and these tabs are messed up. Well, so I mean, what? The socket's even real loose once you get the cable in there. Yeah, but they, we can't get it to talk to the computer yet, so kind of go over all this stuff until they talk. Either that or I gotta change the board. All right, here we go again. See, this is all grayed out, so it's, as long as that's grayed out, we have nothing. And we have nothing. This is the, yep, this is the yeah. camera. It's just done. Probably not the news he wants. Nope. There's There's I'm gonna give him. Yeah. All right, you want to kill my panel real quick? Yeah. So Jamie threw in a new V3 board, and uh, we're going to see if it will connect. Yep. Lightning bolt came right on. Lightning bolt came right on. We got to register it, so, fresh, yeah. but, but it does work, so. So this is the wide band? Yeah. This is the innovative wide band? Mm -hmm. As you can see, they 
it looks like by it tied up here, my guess would be it got caught up on something and it ripped the plug off. Okay. So see, yeah. this is just the pins in there. Mm -hmm. And the pins and the wires, they can all touch each other. They're not even in all the way. This one's jammed all the way through. This one's barely in. Okay, so, so we need to like that? Yeah, it may need a sensor or so I don't rig. have so the innovatives take the the big D sensor. Mm -hmm. We don't really use these. We use more we use the AEMs instead. Okay. Yeah. It's yeah. a lot better for tuning aspect and having it in the ECU. So if you ever have problems we can just pull a log and look at it and, and everything. And you need them for like two? For tuning, yeah. Send it. Yeah. So what's that cut wire right there? What's that go to? Um, it comes up here to a, was that red with the green stripe? Red with the green stripe. So that'd be like the map sensor. Yeah, I think that is map. Let me see. They, let's see what they got going on. Let's see what it looks I'll like. Okay, plug there. into and make sure we're reading a map sensor. That could be why he had that weird, why it stalls and runs weird. That is the center wire. Oh, it changes to a black right here because they spray painted the engine bay. Hmm. Here's the wire plugged in right here. What's it tied to there? Oh. Oh. What's that? Red, black, and white. Now we're red, black, and white. Let me look. And we're back in the car. Maybe he plugged it, maybe he cut it in and put it on the jumper side. Okay. Okay. So I've got right here's where they come in. Mm. So we've got a red right here. Mm-hmm. We got a black on a white here. So we've got a red going right here directly to the ECU. And we've got a black going right there with nothing covering it. Oh, that's the bare wire. That's the bare wire is our black one. And then our white wire. It's going into the mess mess. But it doesn't look like it's finished up. Or, or is it this thing? Oh, it is that one. Which goes directly to our ECU. This is one. Fascinating. The plot thickens. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Yeah. You want to get on? Yeah, yeah. But I definitely want to fix those bears, the bots. And it all started because I just saw that wire was cut and stripped and I wasn't sure what the heck that went to. Interesting. So as you saw, we were having the chasing the map sensor and it looks like it does not read at all. So let's keep looking here. What do you okay, so that's the white wire? Yes, so this white wire. Yep. That is definitely this wire. Okay. That goes to, I'm just gonna have to unbolt this ECU again. Yeah. I got it. I think myself. we, yeah. My white wire, which is this one, goes to D, two, four, six, eight. D21 sensor ground. 21. Black is sensor ground. Okay. And then what is 19? D19. Sensor voltage for the map sensor. Okay. Say it again. Yellow with the white. Yep, that's right. Black goes to green with the uh, white. That's right. White goes to red with the blue. And that's right too. So. Either we've got, yeah, either a map sensor problem or, or the electrical still a little. 
we've got some resistance or there's something weird because we are reading negative oh you got it unplugged right now do what you got it unplugged right now yeah we got it unplugged give me a second to plug it into the stock one. okay i'm going to change the map sensor back to stock map sensors back to stock minus 24 so, so it's still wired. wire it rewire it all again and three fresh new wires or I mean, it's just a map sensor this can't be rocket science right yeah and that was the stock one yeah that's the stock one I have right there that's a Denso sticker on it yep And the TPS works. Honestly, we have no idea how you drove it here. No, I didn't drive it. Oh, you didn't drive it? Okay. You had a toad here. Oh, that makes more sense. Makes a lot more sense. Yep. Oh, okay. Um, well, let's just grab three freshies and we'll just redo this whole thing. We're going to unplug this thing and just check the pins and make sure they're not bent. Make sure that bent in the ECU. Oh, oh. You got wires falling out. Pins pushing out. Look how much that one moves. Right here. Forward and back or up and down? Or in and out? Every direction. Is it even really a pin? An ECU pin? Maybe they put a pin in there. It's just generic. Well, it looks right. And nothing's bent in the ECU? Nope. Minus twenty four. Nothing's talking. This one has so much play. It's probably not the right pin. Yeah. Or oh, I guess it is it's black. It's a huge wire though. It's a different size wire. No, so they pinned this. I killed the power. They might have killed that hole when they deep pinned it though. A sensor. So, so to pull the pin, we use these little jewelry straight screwdrivers. And you take it in and you put it in this top hole. You get it down, you lift up on the tab, and pull out. And that gets the pin out. So this is a different style pin. So I'll find a Honda pin real quick and replace that. And uh, try to make some progress. Alright, so I repinned the ECU. I ran some new wires. And uh, it was still coming up. The map sensor had a fault and there was a problem. So I started digging in here a little deeper. And what I found was, even though I've soldered all this up. Um, these wire colors, see this signal wire is in the middle. Okay, that's definitely not right. Should look like this. Should have the power and ground. The yellow is the power, the green is the ground, and the signal is on the outside. So when they first were trying to get this car running, they went off this, di this plug and uh, the wires were all in the wrong spots. So, we'll rewire this plug here, and then this car will run again. So, I think he sold this because he was chasing the map sensor problem, and, oh, yeah. and, I, and I solved it. Oh, you got it? Yeah. So, here's the deal. See this plug right here? <laughs> You'll know the deal. Here, hold this camera real fast. Got you. See, we got power, signal, ground, right? Uh -huh. It's supposed to be signal, ground power gotcha so it's just 180 out well not just one way 180 out but the signal goes on the outside pin yeah not oh, in the middle gotcha so it was just totally wrong totally wrong so we're gonna restart it out fix that up and then this thing's ready to sweet all right so the wiring's all figured out turbos keep america fast we'll sync it we got to rebuild the tune because we couldn't get in the ECU to see what tune was in it. But it doesn't sound like it was something we wanted anyway because 
I don't see how the maps since they ever work. I don't think it did ever work. So, so we're fresh. We put a new wide band in it as well. Uh, the sensor, those pins were all broken. And uh, this was just easier to go with the AEMX series there. And then we put a new board in the ECU so we could connect. And I think that's about it. I think that's got us pretty squared up. So jumping through all those hoops should get this little hot rod rocking. So pretty stoked about that. Don't talk to me in that tone of voice. So now I think we'll start jamming this hot rod out and see if we can't make some power. Don't look at me in that tone of voice. Don't look at me in that tone of voice. Quarantine shirts coming out soon. Get them while they're hot. You're good. What is this for? What it's for the sloshing, but with the 85, mm -hmm. it's really, it breaks that stuff down quite a bit. Okay. Right on. Uh, they got the foam out. We're just gonna get some fuel and put in there. Okay, maybe that's it's why. About I half a wrong. tank, but it's a, little, a it's a little under half. Do you watch fuel first thing? Because like I tip into it and you have nothing. Yeah, it might actually be more down towards a quarter or less. It's really hard to see in those cells. Oh, I saw it. It was just lean every time you touched it. Yeah. It was You went cool with that? I went cool with that. Not at all? Mm -hmm. Not even a little bit? All right. As you rev it, it comes down to... All right, so now we've got a little fuel pump problem. So it, I don't know if it's the foam made it into the filters or whatever, but it drops to when it's sitting there and you hear it change tones, the fuel pressure is going from 50 down to 20. Go ahead. Yeah, bro, this is like dribbling out here. Got like 50 pounds of pressure, but we're straight dribbling out. Dribbling? dribbling. Do I just take the feed line off and put that in the tank? Yeah, we might have to. Yeah, it shouldn't be dribbling. No, it is. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and put that hose in the gas can here. Okay, go ahead. Yep. Yep. Um, yeah, about that. Literally nothing. Literally nothing. Wow. These filters must be done. Done, done. Like it's not you got out. anything yet? Nope. No, like it's not even dribbling. Oh, it's it's dribbling. I have no idea, bro. And it's an eight feed from two O forty fours to a six return. Yeah. We show fifty pounds, but there ain't no fifty pounds. On your lift, though. Yeah. Yeah, this might be a leave it kind of scenario go up in the air go up in the air go through the down yep 
Get some new elements. Goofy's lift might be open right now. I think it is actually. We'll check it out. We gotta have something to, you know, because the tank catch all the fuel. It. Yeah, catch all the fuel. Unless we have a little pump, we can drop in this tank and pump it up to, to the top. Because this should do so. it, but if it's not. Yeah, it ain't doing it. Weird. How yeah. does it have 50 pounds? I don't know. That's 50 pounds, and then after a while of running, it goes down to 20. Yeah. But you said it's dribbling, so. I oh, it's it's straight dribbling out of there. Like it's. Here, I'll show the camera. I'm not exaggerating. That is a dribble. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. There you go. What? <laughs> That's what's coming out of this thing? Yeah, bro. That's what came out of the return. You thought I was lying. We're jumping through hoops for you, bro. I still say you got a good deal because. You think? It has a lot of good parts. Oh yeah, this is a yeah, good setup. It just sat too long. Yeah. yeah no, and I had some issues. Might clean the injectors too. Yeah. So okay, so where we're at with it right now, what we think we should do? Go ahead and kill it so you can set this gas can. Yeah. Gas can down. If it decides to prime out of nowhere. Um, what we're thinking is, if you wanna, if you wanna leave it, we're gonna have to put it on a lift. We're gonna have to drain all the fuel. We're probably gonna have to put new filter elements in it. We'll probably pull the injectors, clean the injectors, because obviously if there's stuff in the filters or the pumps, there's stuff in the injectors. So I don't think it's something we're gonna get done today, but it's something we got a damn good start on it. So so I think that's where we're at with it right now though. We'll move it from, from the dyno to over to a lift. To a lift and then we'll drop that stuff out, take it apart, clean it all up said new elements or see what these ones need and then put it back together and then and then put it back down on the dyno and we'll make sure everything's working then we can give you a call and let you know when we're going to do it okay. yep. That's gonna be right on but, we did get through a lot of issues today though yeah. like there's a lot working that didn't yeah the car just had some electrical issues and it sat for a long time that's really bad on a fuel system with the 85 yeah, if it had the A5 in it the whole time, yeah. Yeah. Well, we're about to know, too, and I did notice one of those little short... Um, oh, it's got a stubby filter stubby after. fuel filter, which probably has one of those cork-like elements in it. Suck. We'll get rid of that. Right on. Well, we got a game plan. On the next episode of PFI Speed. You got a light, Sean? Oh, you see the gooeys down there? I see the gooeys. The chunks. Just looks black in the camera, but there are some gooeys. Look down in that one. Whoa! Ho ho! Ho ho! Ho ho ho! Yeah, that's gross.